This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And we got to talk about this new trailer that just dropped for the game Atlas. I'm super excited. The hype is real for this game. If you don't know what it's all about, we're going to take a look at the trailer, but it is a pirate game. It's a, they refer to it as an MMO and it is being developed by a, a sister team of Studio Wildcard called uh, Grape Shot Games. And it features a bunch of the original developers for ARK have moved over and uh, started to, well, have been working on this game. I'm a little concerned and a little bit hesitant. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much because we have seen how this has went before for previous games of theirs, mainly Pixark and Dark and Light. They're pretty much a flop. I think the main issue with those is they were released too soon into early access. If this game is a little bit more polished when it goes into early access, it could pay off in a really big way for them. Anyway, I'm going to stop running my mouth. Let's go over here. We're going to look at the trailer. Before we start watching this trailer, if you want to see the whole thing at full screen 1080p, jump down there into the description of the video. There'll be a link for it. We got to watch it in a little window here because, you know, YouTube. But uh, and also I'm going to be pausing. We're going to be doing some frame by frame. We're going to point out some things that I noticed in the uh, trailer and all that good stuff. So let's go through here. So first off, I want you to take a look at all of the characters all over the place. Now, there's a bunch of them through here. So what that tells me, I doubt all of these are players. I doubt they have this many people playing. And they mentioned that in uh, the game description, which we're going to go over that too, some of the features of the game, that you can hire uh, AI crew members. So this is AI. So I'm interested to see how they do humanoid AI. Cause I mean, we know they got the dino AI down. It works. It does its thing, but we have yet to see them do human AI. Now that can be a touchy thing to bring in true realism. If you just have them walk in like simple loops and stuff like that, it's not nearly as realistic and submersive as it is what we expect these days. So we're going to go ahead and look here. So look at all these, like all of this is all all NPCs. Now, if those NPCs just stand there and this just replays over and over again, it's not going to look good for them. What would be better is if the hanging happens, then they walk off and over time, these bodies slowly decay like you see this skeleton here. That would be good. If they took it that far, I don't know. We'll have to wait till the 13th to find out. Also, if we take a look here, you can see that we got a person riding the horse. I have a feeling this is actually a player and we're gonna be able to have like the horse and buggy situation, which is pretty cool. You can see that we have chickens here and up here, it looks like there is a McCall. Is that what that, that bird is with the red and the blue? Parrot, McCall, parrot, I think. I don't know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong in uh, the comments down there. It looks like there might be another one back here. This appears to be a dock for one of the cities. And then of course, pirate ships. Now they state that in the features that you will be able to customize your pirate ship. I can't freaking wait. I can't wait. I've been waiting for a good pirate game for so long. Like I am so freaking excited. So you can see here, they got sales and there's a part we'll get to here in a little bit uh, where there's different kinds of sales. So I'm really hoping you get to customize your own sales, do your own custom paint job. And uh, so also it's going to not only feature pirates, but also mythical creatures. You can see we got some uh, a Hydra here. It looks like an ogre here. And we, of course, have cannons. So the other thing that I think is really cool about this is we're not going to see a bunch of tech shenanigans. There, there won't be any of that tech shenanigans that you see in ARK. It's going to be like single shot pistols, maybe two shot pistols at the most. At the absolute most, I expect to see maybe six shot pistols. But you're not going to have any crazy element stuff, you know, all that shenanigans. But also cannons, there's going to be lots of different cannons and you'll see different versions of that as we go along. You can see here that they got them mounted on the horse and buggy. So that right there, um, that almost, you know, confirms that we'll have the horse and buggy situation. You can also see see that we have mounted combat here. So heck yeah, mounted combat. Love me some of that. We got a lot of bow action going on. These guys are just using bows. 
Now, they state that this map is going to be absolutely massive, absolutely insanely massive compared to the island, which is, I mean, that's a given, but you also have to expect a very large part of that is going to be ocean. I don't expect there to be, a, a, when when somebody says, oh, the map is going to be huge, you, you're like, okay, a lot of people immediately think land. That's like actual, you know, walking on. To be what this game needs to be, a huge part of that is going to need to just be open ocean. You're going to need to be able to sail for some time to get from one side of the map to the other and, and just, you know, be out in the open seas to get that real pirate feel. So I want to go frame by frame here because I want to point out something that I noticed. So we got the hammerhead here, of course, this dude's fishing. But if you look right here, there's something. I don't know if that's a bobber or what. It might be another another fish. I can't really zoom in on it to see, but it looks like maybe a puffer fish or something. And then we have back here, uh, it appears to be a bird on the water, maybe a seagull. And we got one right here, which they're using the, the Pelagornis mechanics for that. You can see they made uh, use of that. And then back here, you in the very back, you can see in the mist that there is elephants. So that they probably just reskin the mammoths, I would expect for that. But yeah, so we got elephants back there. We got birds on the water, which is most likely the Pelagornis mechanic. But I'm, I, I want to know, let me know in the comments what you think this is right here. Like, what is this? And then this dude dives in the water, but what for? Like, watch. Why would you dive? Why would you dive in the water when there's this guy? You're in the ship. You're safe. Don't don't dive in the water. But you can see we got another another look at this. It looks like it came out of the water a little bit more. So, of course, we're going to have fishing. That's that's cool. And then here's a part we're going to have to definitely go frame by frame here because this this part, if you don't go frame by frame, you miss it. And it looks like we got another elephant or mammoth over here, which is pretty cool. Love the look at this map. I mean, the map is gorgeous everything you see in this map absolutely gorgeous which in turn just i love a gorgeous map that makes me excited so we're gonna we're gonna let this play and then we're going to right here oh look i paused it right on it look at that so what i'm thinking this is and i could be wrong so this is this hypothetical but i feel like this is fast travel so this if you don't know this this thing i don't remember what exactly what this is called somebody let me know in the comments but i do know it's used for plotting your point um, using the stars. So that's what you're doing here. So what it could be is a fast travel situation. Now, if we zoom in, what happens is, is you could use this and it brings you to a map, a fast travel map. So what this looks like is it might be, um, the first frame of going into the map, or it could be a dirty lens. That's completely possible, but I feel like this is a transition into a fast travel map. Look at that. So that could be right there. That could be a glimpse because it looks like a chunk of land and then like an ocean here, another chunk of land over here. So quite possible. Could be wrong. That's pretty cool. OK, so we're going to continue on. Look at the size of this behemoth here. So we're going to have whaling. That's that's amazing. I'm excited for some whaling and I just saw something there. Hold on. What is that? It's like we got something there. I'm not 100% sure what that red thing is. You see that there? Looks like it might be coming out of this other ship over here. But does it fly all the way across the screen? No, it looks like it gets lost in the waves. So they could be, it could be something being fired out of the other ship trying to hit the whale as well. So, of course, we're going to have the spear throw mechanic that you see in Ark. Uh, as you notice, there's a lot of storage on this ship. So that could be part of the ship customization. And this could be either players or AI, which is kind of cool. It'd be neat if we get the uh, AI mechanic similar to what you see in Conan, where you can just place them on the side of the ship and say, attack anything that you see, or the turret mechanic in Ark. Anyway, we're going to let that go ahead and play. I mean, that whale is massive. I don't think there was really anything else in this one here. Let's go back. Oh, there's the ship back there. Look at that. Another like just how beautiful. Oh, no, that red thing couldn't be coming from this ship because that ship is wrecked as well. And then we got a wrecked ship up there. I mean, the map. I cannot wait to explore this map. I cannot wait. Now, 
This is something I missed. Like I've watched this many a times and it wasn't until I went frame by frame that I noticed this. There's two elementals here. There's a stone elemental right here. And then you have the fire elemental right here. This dude's got a shovel. So there's going, there's supposedly treasure hunting. So I'm sure that's what they're showing here. They got their shovels. They're hunting down the treasure to dig it up. We got some blue thing here. I'm not sure what that is, but look at the map in the background there. Giant like lost city looking shenanigans going on there. All right, let's let that play through there. Yeah, definitely a big old earth elemental and fire elemental uh, guarding whatever treasure they are after. And look, look at the map. Oh man, I cannot wait to explore this map. Now this, we're gonna have dual wielding of pistols. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. These look like undead soldiers. Now we got a glimpse in a previous trailer that was leaked, I think like four months or so ago that there was undead they glow different they glowed green these guys seem to be glowing uh like a pink or yeah pretty sure that's pink color pink or purple um but fires it off and you can see i mean look at that armor they're wearing oh man they look so good you can see this dude's got a mace here so you're gonna have not only swords but you're gonna be able to wield like big old mace and just beat the crap out of stuff oh we got a pretty good shot there yeah look at that 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 looks so good so this is probably a cave or a dungeon or something like that that they're uh, they're exploring for treasure. And then you see this a lot. Um, saw this in the previous trailer. There's fist fighting, but I want you to take a look here. I think this is players will have the ability to box basically. Now there's a lot that we can gather from this scene as well. You got this dude laying here. You got a bunch of people around. Now these could be AI. These could also be other players. And we could have different emotes, which would be pretty cool. We got a dude dancing back here. And uh, this gives us an idea of like what character creation is going to be like. So we're not going to, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go as far as like the outrageous proportions that you have in Ark. So you're going to, everybody's going to look much more human in this one and you're going to have hum more humanoid proportions. So we let that play. I don't think there was really anything in that last little scene. No, there's just a bunch of people standing around. Now this one's pretty cool because we get another look at a ship. So this is the helm, of course, where you pilot your ship and then it looks like we're gonna have straight up sword fighting but if you notice back here look at this guy this is appears to be another ship that is pulled up against this ship here and this dude's fishing off the the crow's nest up there oh i don't think that's the crow's nest i don't know what you call that part i think this part up here is the crow's nest but the point is this dude is fishing off the top of the ship which is pretty cool and then of course we get a little little action there from the uh sword fighting let's watch that one more time so he goes right in and then you get the sword fighting and then check this out here we get another good look at the map your ship being docked at a port and oh man the map just looks so amazing i'm so excited for this now here we go with different style cannons i told you we would be seeing other styles of cannons so you can see those here now this this is really interesting because this shows this here is definitely a player made structure this is straight up ripped out of arc this is the arc stone structure if you don't believe me go look it, go load up arc and look at the stone structure it matches perfectly even this like this pointed rock here use that as your marker it has the exact same pointed rock and the railing here is the same railing from arc however you can see we have some chests here that's different they actually reskin that but we got some different cannons here as well these look more like these are mortar cannons and these are turreted cannons you can see that they're on them and they're able to or more than likely able to adjust their position on the fly and fire them and we got some uh, ones here that look like they are not available to be adjusted like left and right. So they're not turret style. They look like just good old fashioned stationary cannons. We got a sunken ship back here. I mean, there's just so much to pull out of this trailer that, they, that they've given us for only a minute and 19 seconds. Yeah, this here, definitely, definitely a player structure and just ripped right out of arc. I'm hoping that they actually change this texture up and and this was just done for the trailer we got a nice slow-mo of a cannon shot hitting another player structure so here you can get a good look at the wall yeah that matches straight for arc and then of course you're you can lose your ship it can actually sink 
you can see here that we have a dolphin and swordfish and we're gonna have underwater exploration where you're gonna have to use a dive suit like that's fantastic and it makes me wonder if we're gonna have stats where we can do like free diving so you can like increase your oxygen stat and to be able to do free diving without using the uh, the suit but the idea of the suit is fantastic now Here's something that you may have missed if you don't go frame by frame. These are highlight, these are like glowing green ships in the back, and this looks like a Kraken. So that's, I'm guessing, some type of world boss. And you got a, uh, a view of these in the leaked trailer. The previous leaked trailers is what I'm going to refer to it as. You got to see these uh, green glowing ships. So I'll be interested to see what, what these are like. I guess just uh, the enemy pirates that roam the lands and want to kill all the other pirates. So yeah, it looks like some type of world boss here. Of course, it's gotta have dragons, and we get to see some more different kinds of sails, different styles of ship. I, I'm really interested to see how you can customize your ship. What I feel like when they say customize your own ship, I feel like it's going to be, let's go out just a little bit here so we can get a, get a look here and I can show you. I feel like it's gonna be a situation where it's either modular, so like you will, like this chunk here, will be able to be replaced with different back ends I guess of the ship you know what I mean so it'll be modular ship sections to get the overall look and feel of the ship and then you can customize and build on that ship similar to how we build on platforms in arc or it's going to be a situation where you just buy the whole ship and then you can only customize the inside and that's it that's pretty much all there is to it and I'm so excited. Like I said, I'm I'm not trying not to get my hopes up too much because it is being released in early access. So that that kind of worries me a little bit. But at the same time, I'm, I've been waiting for like a really good pirate game that I can enjoy. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Steam and we're, we're hitting our wrap up time. So I'm just going to kind of go through this pretty quickly here. So uh, we're going to expand that out. You see here it says it's an MMO on the grandest of scales, which everybody says that about every MMO. So 700 unique land masses across 45,000 square kilometers uh, with thousands of discovery zones. So that's that's going to be pretty cool. Of course, there's going to be PvE and PvP for those people who don't want to PvP, which is cool. Then we have uh, construct the ship of your dreams plank by plank. Now they say plank by plank, but there's no way. There's no way it's plank by plank. It's, it's either going to be modular or it's going to be just customize the inside of it. I mean, if it's plank by plank and you can actually like build every single little part of your ship from the ground up, I will be so surprised and shut up and take my money. So it says build dry docks and start with a dinghy rowboat, basic raft, tiny sloop or nimble schooner. Move on up to your own versatile brigadine, brigadine, brig, brigatine. Brigantine, I don't know how to pronounce that word, forgive me, uh, or Titanic Galleon, capable of transporting hundreds of crew and extensive cargo. I like the idea of just being like a cargo transporter and stealing cargo and just having a horde on my ship. Name your ship in big bold letters, paint and copy your own pirate flag. So there we go, we're gonna get to customize our own sails and pirate flag and custom place all the pieces of your ship. Then it says every single structure piece has a physical weight and material to function exactly how you want. So I'm I'm excited to see how that's going to go down. If they get that right, oh my God, oh my God. Of course, Captain Your Crew, this is what I was talking about where it says recruit real players and AI crew from free ports. So I, I can't, can't wait to see how this here, I feel like the, the ship customization and the AI is gonna be what makes or breaks the game. If the if this is trash and the AI is trash, then it's gonna be a flop. But if they nail these two things, and as beautiful as the map is, every other thing I feel like can be is gonna be forgiven and people are just gonna play the game because these two things here and like the combat are really gonna make or break break this game. So then of course, uh, pirate PVP to the limit. So you can of course pirate, be the hero or the villain you are meant to be. MMO scale character progression systems include at launch over 15 disciplines and over 300 skills in a vast unlockable tree. 
That's going to be some 300 skills. That's crazy. New feat system allows for active and passive bindable character abilities, while new stat buff system allows innumerable abstract statistics to be modified by skills, items, and armor. And now everything has scalable stats, including structures, and can be progressively upgraded. Wow. This, this, this is going to be crazy. This is something, this is big. The amount that they're taking on here and the amount that they're promising on startup, like on launch, this is at launch. So, I mean, is that, well, that could be, is that early access or actual launch launch? Because you, you kind of got to specify that nowadays. I mean, because at launch can mean a lot of different things. Then endless adventure, intense action, claim what's yours, to uh, form a company, claim a territory, apply taxation and behavior rules uh, to that which you own, uh, creatures great and small, more than 50 creatures at launch. Okay, that, that's got to mean, that's got to mean an early access. Varying from breedable utilitarian farm animals and shoulder mounted parrots and monkeys that offer unique buffs, uh, all the way to magical mer oh my god, there's gonna be mermaids and other gigantic sea monsters of legend. Three ports to meet and greet, build your empire. Like, there's a it just goes on and on and on. This is gonna be it's gonna be something, but I'm far over my wrap up time to talk about this, so I'll leave a bunch of links for you down in the description so you can check all this out for yourself. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.